My name's Richard Blurton. I'm a curator here in the British Museum in the Department of Asia, and my particular concern is South Asia. I've been here now for 30 years, amazingly, and uh, this current exhibition concerned with Assam has been sort of boiling away in the background for me for about 20 years. The central item in this exhibition concerned with Assam is this magnificent textile that you see behind me. It's today over nine meters long and it's made up of 12 individual strips of cloth. Each one of them, we believe, was produced, woven, in the late 1600s, 1680, perhaps, that sort of time. Each one of these 12 strips of cloth is figured with either scenes from the life of Krishna um, or the 10 incarnations, the avatars, of the god Vishnu. This story tells of how uh, the gopis, the female devotees, were um, bathing in the river Jamuna. Uh, they leave their clothes, of course, upon the bank. Naughty Krishna comes along and scoops up all the clothing and hides it in a tree in the forest. And then he climbs up there as well and plays his flute. And, of course, when the gopis come up out of the river, lo and behold, their clothes are nowhere to be seen. And they're naked before God. The real uh, pièce de résistance on this side of the exhibition is this outstanding item that is on loan, uh, very generously loaned to the exhibition by the museum in Chepstow in South Wales. Now, this is an item, as it survives today, of Anglo-Indian costume. It's made on the outside of the most beautiful Chinese damask, very cool and sophisticated, very uh, subtle. It's a sort of dressing gown, basically, uh, for a gentleman, uh, probably someone who'd made a fortune in India, who they were known as nabobs. This is an English corruption of the word nawab, or ruler, or king. Um, and it's remarkable for us today because the lining, which has mostly been out of sight, it's been closed for many years, um, is made up of one of these Assamese Krishna textiles. It's been cut up, but here in the centre, you see very dramatically and very beautifully preserved um, registers of these narratives from the life of Krishna, uh, as well as um, uh, the avatars of Vishnu. Interestingly also, uh, the lion incarnation of Vishnu, Narasimha. In this depiction of him, he's shown in his Ugra form, that is his fierce form. And of course, this is the moment when he defeats the demon Hiranyakashipu and he's placed across his lap and of course he pulls the intestines out of the hapless demon. And that, that moment is shown on the textile. I suspect that um, the worthy English gentleman who had this banyan, this dressing gown produced, was perhaps unaware of the bloodthirsty nature of uh, that episode. Now, most of what I've spoken about and what is on display in this exhibition is from the past, but also shown are a couple of elements of contemporaneity. Behind me here are four masks. These. Uh, were made at the uh, Shamaguri Monastery on Majuli, which is one of the monasteries that today is renowned for its master drama, in which the episodes of Krishna's life are reenacted. So here, in the case uh, behind me, we have uh, one goody, uh, Garuda, the uh, hawk or eagle mount, uh, on, whom, on whose back um, Krishna and Vishnu fly through the uh, heavens, and then three baddies, three demons. We have Chakrabat, uh, who is the uh, demon of the whirlwind. We have Bakoshura, the, the crane demon, 
uh, I'm rather taken with Bakashori. He has rather a nice twinkle in his eye, but he's nevertheless a demon. And then here at the end, uh, Putana. The other element of contemporaneity shown in this exhibition is rather different. It's highly elusive and sort of dreamlike, and it's a video whereby um, uh, a group of artists in Gahati, the capital of Assam, who go under the wonderfully extravagant name of the Desire Machine Collective. And they've made this black and white uh, video artwork, uh, which um, is a sort of meditative response by them to the, um, the textile. This is the first time it's ever been shown in its entirety. There are only about 20 or perhaps at the most 25 anywhere in the world. Now is the moment uh, in, 20, in the first half of 2016 uh, to come and see it in the flesh because uh, probably in my lifetime it won't be seen again. <laughs>